vlog, a very different vlog I might add. So it's not really going to be that horsey content. However, it is, today is our end of season darts meal. So I'm going out for that tonight, which is brilliant because I haven't been out with the darts team in four weeks. So I'm off out with them today. Well, this evening, we're off down to the Prince William in Brixham and then I'm probably coming home. Midnight, don't knock that over. No, because I'm going out for a meal today, I'm not actually eating a lot today. And I'm just going to take you through what I'm going to eat today. It's not a lot, to be perfectly honest, I will admit that. So first things first, I do need my bottle. Hazel is having a pot of vegan club, so let's get hers underway shall we midnight stop it in an rpg i, can I know you can sweetheart i'm doing your pot needle now feed the animals, give them their lunch and then I'm going to do my lunch. My lunch is quite simple. Yes, I am going to finish my cup of tea before I start lunch. About there. Why am I this thing and slide down a little more? So I'm still getting used to this. So I'm going to fill it up to about there. And in my cupboard up top here, I have a slim fast, and this is the raspberry and white chocolate. So it goes in there. Now I used to be stupid and put the powder in first and not the milk but then you realize it gets stuck so to lose weight i put two scoops in and i've got to have that for two minutes so i had one for breakfast this morning i'm going to have one for lunch now i'm going to put this on put this on and we're going to go over here to my little blending machine Get a glass. So that's the color it comes out as it's like a, a raspberry. Sort of flush colour. Then you pour it into the glass. You can drink it from the bottle, I don't like to. Put that in the sink. And that is my lunch. It does taste more raspberry than white chocolate. I quite like fruit. I especially like raspberries and strawberries and things. I did have the cafe latte of the Slim Fast and that was amazing. I quite like this one. I think on payday I'm going to get some more of, not this one, but I'm going to try some different flavours and see which one I like. And seeing that as, uh, at Asda, they're two for 14 at the moment, not bad. This one I've had for months and when I first did, did the deal it was about three months ago so and I brought two two for 14 if they still got the deal I'll get another two um but I brought a strawberry and a raspberry white chocolate anyway that is lunch I'll see you all when I start getting ready to go 
for the darts mill. So I've just had a delivery that I've been waiting for for a few days and I do some diamond art. I mainly do it for like birthday presents and things like that. So I got myself one of these beautiful diamond art light up LED stand. And I thought I'd open it with you guys. So as you can see, that's how it all comes in its packaging. I might have to lower my stand down a little bit because it's just a little too high. There we go. So we've got some clips, the charger, which I'm guessing goes into my white tray. So I've got four clips in total. Let's figure out how to put these together now as well. The stand that goes on, the little diamond dart when you seal it. Yep. Number tray always comes in handy. I'm just going to put this down here beside me so I don't lose it. I and mean, I have actually taken this out already, but I thought I would show you guys. This is <coughs> the tray or the light, LED light. So I need to put it on charge. That's what she looks like. And you can clip the um, diamond darts, whatever you're doing to it. It does come with instructions. Oh, bollocks, I'm dropping everything now as well. So I'm gonna put this back in its oh, uh, sleeve so it doesn't get dirty because I probably will use this in a little while. I can't get it back in the sleeve. How good is that? I can get it. I got it out. I just can't get it back in. There we go. Yes. Oh, that's quite bright as well. Uh, so LED instructions it comes with. Simple operation. Here we go. This is what we want. I can put everything back in so I don't lose it all. Okay, I will put that on my other chair. I've got to stand there and get that spray furbix. Not really what I wanted over my face this morning, but it's softening. So, operation time. Super bright lights. The LED tracing board itself equipped with many super bright lamps that can be seen through very thick paper. Tracing board. Simple touch button. Uh, yep. Lightweight and lightweight and sleek in design. Special acrylic surface. LED protection technology. Uh, yep. Ah, oh, so there's a protective film on that screen. But that is what we got. Obviously, I did have to pay. Dad actually paid for it for me, so I have to pay Dad back on my payday. But that's what we got to help do some diamond art because it's my grand. It was my granddad's birthday. It's also my nan's birthday, and because I don't like sending things via post, especially when they're picture frames and things like that, I'd rather take them down to them. So when I go down and see them, endorse endorse it in August, I will be taking their perfectly framed diamond darts with me i got my granddad uh longhorn cow i can't remember what the name of the cow is i really should know it my nan's got a dolphin one my brother has a tomb raider one believe it or not that took me hours my nephew has a dinosaur one my niece has a mermaid one and hazel has tons i just haven't got to that far yet with doing hazel's ones it takes me about a month to do them. I do have one sitting in home that I really need to crack on and finish. But seeing as Hazel is outside and it's a beautiful day, I thought I'd come and sit out in my back garden and actually make use of these beautiful chairs that we got from our lovely next door neighbour who was giving them away for free. And I said I would have them so I could sit out here in the back garden, do some editing, do some vlogging and obviously spend more time with Hazel. And my diamond art is a little bit big for this one. However, it doesn't really matter because I can slide it down and pin it to where I actually need to go. 
but this is the one I'm doing for my granddad. He really can't wait to use this. That's on the brighter setting. So I'll be able to see and no longer strain my eyes to be able to do the diamond art. I am very happy. Final outfit look is this. I've put on a nice clean pair of jeans. I've got lovely white sandals. This polka dot blue tube that is from Dorothy Perkins. My normal rings and bracelet. This gorgeous necklace that was belonged to my nan. And I'm not an earring kind of person, so I don't wear earrings, but I will wear this when I'm going out. And obviously my signature necklace, which is the Pegasus jewellery horseshoe. So you can get a bit of a close-up on the necklace and the rhinestone in there. And it is like you can wear it as a choker, you can wear it as anything else. But that is the final look guys so i'm off to darts i'll show you where we're going once we get there it's a lovely little place and it's a lovely little walk that we're off to before we can actually get to the restaurant so we're all off and i'll show you see how much money i saved with me as well because the good thing about darts is that we do save money sorry my hair is caught on my there we go uh yeah see how we go see you all later I'd like to say that was not bad at all. So, we've just had our meals, but I wanted to show you this. Look how pretty is that sunset. But just finished our meals, we're going to go for some cocktails now. Strange guy, don't drink, but how pretty is that? Obviously, we've come to the Prince William for our meal in Brixton. So you should come here. The food is absolutely amazing. <laughs> so I'm glad she didn't sit here. Take, uh, take it. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of these in my bedroom. It's cool. Yeah. It's got mermaid on it as well. I don't know if I can see him in anymore. I'll show you that. It's called a blue ribbon. Oh, it's been a been a lovely, lovely night out with the darts team we're just about to go home it's about half past 10 and i've still got to get picked up from the bell been a lovely night been great at the mermaid in brixham and the prince william in brixham i do recommend you come here one mermaid for the cocktails absolutely amazing and prince william the drinks and the food are glorious anyway i'm signing off for this vlog for tonight and i'll show you how dixie is doing tomorrow morning we've left her out in the field she is fine she's okay but obviously We'll see how she is tomorrow. She was walking really, really nicely in the field and she didn't look lame. Fingers crossed she's not lame. But yes, yeah, signing off for tonight, I'm going to go home and now go drink a pint of water <laughs> to try not to have a hangover in the morning. I've had three cocktails, not feeling dizzy or anything like that, but I am feeling a bit of a headache coming on. So good night, everyone. Hope you've had a lovely time and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I'm done with dicks. I don't have a hangover. I just have a headache from last night, which I guess is a good thing I'm not hungover, but I do have a headache. Good morning, darling. Yes, I don't feel sick. I don't feel nauseous or anything. Nauseous? Nauseous or anything like that. But I do just have a little bit of a nagging headache. Obviously, Dad is off today. He is off to Plymouth for the guys running ashore, which is great. He's getting out of the house and away from me for a few days, which means me and Hazy, who's down there playing Harry Potter because she's obsessed with it, we are going to have a mother-daughter weekend, which is great because I haven't spent, well, I do spend time with her every single day, 
but I haven't done just me and Hazel. It's always been me, Dad and Hazel. So, yes. What are you doing, silly moosh? I'm throwing her food all over the ground. I am lent on her, by the way, guys, as well. So she's quite tolerant of literally everything at the moment, aren't you? Hey? I am warm. It is very, very warm. Dixie is actually quite cool. I think she's been sleeping under the shades. But it is incredibly warm. I thought it was going to be cold because the weather forecast gave it to be... Um, colder today but i actually think it's hotter down this field but she's okay she's doing very very well we're going to reassess her in that reassess her tomorrow see how that leg's doing look at this bottom hey dix i think she's like grown a little bit <laughs> but that's just me anyway signing off for this vlog i hope you enjoyed sort of coming with us to darts mill and i saved 25 pound on my darts which isn't too bad because i didn't well i did i saved a lot more but i had to spend the money on my um meal to go out so i literally wasn't intending to eat anything and because of the prices and i thought then we looked at the price meal and we looked at how much money so in total I saved, with the darts throughout the whole entire season, I saved £76 in total. Now, 40 of that came out for the meal. 10, 20 of it went on... No, 10 went on petrol for the car. Hi, boo. And the rest is still in my purse. But that... Sorry, was I leaning on the wrong part? But she is doing really, really well. I'm quite happy. The swelling is still there, but not as bad as what it was. And we do still have a little bit of heat. <coughs> well, not, that wasn't part of this vlog, being with the horse. But yes, I hope you enjoyed coming with us to the Prince William and the Mermaid in Brixham. Now, the Mermaid is a cocktail bar. Obviously, under 16s are not allowed in there. However, it is a lovely place to go, even if you just want to sit out and look out at the bay. I loved it. Everyone was absolutely having an amazing day, evening, so we all had an amazing evening together. It was fun, it was laughed, and after a crappy day yesterday with bad news one after another, it was the pick-me-up I needed. So, I'm going to leave this madam in peace now and go find my daughter, because she's gone down that way again. Bye everybody, thank you for watching and obviously please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that all important bell for when you get the updates of the vlogs and pictures and videos and shorts and everything else we do post. See you all later.